So where's the office? Back at Division? You're in the office, baby. Today's a training day, Officer Hoy. Show you around, give you a taste of the business, you know? This is a story about a guy who's twisted. See their hand to hand? They look like college kids. I'll well, get an education today. Come on, man, we can't do that. Police, yeah. put your hands up! Put them up! Hell yeah, we can. We the police. We had badges, so it's different. That's what I'm talking about. I think he believes his methods are entirely justified. <laughs> some of them I buy and some of them I don't. Police officer! Jesus, what more you want? I want justice. Get away from the girl! What's wrong with street justice? Oh, just let the animals wipe themselves out. God right? will. I don't think I've seen a character like this in a long time. Not like this. I will do anything you want me to do. Will you? We'll see. Back it up, please. Back right, it up. Back up. Going again right away. Stand by. All right, rehearsal's up. High energy, high energy. I think what attracted me to training day was the incredible level of reality that it had. You hear that, homie? You want to go to jail or you want to go home? Huh? It's one day from dawn until midnight. To protect the sheep, you got to catch the wolf. And it takes a wolf to catch a wolf, you understand? Camera reloaded. Well, the interesting thing about the script is it was written by a white kid, David Ayer, who actually grew up in the Rampart area of, of Los Angeles. So everything about the script had the smell of authenticity. I walk a higher path, son. I got the keys to all the doors. That a curious premise of, uh, you know, in a corrupt world, what happens when one guy says no? You know, the devil doesn't always come to you with horns and a tail. It tends to be a lot more seductive than that. It's interesting because when I read it, I started seeing all these other things. About that time. My mind sort of expanded beyond the car and went into the neighborhoods, the people in the neighborhoods, the people that it affects. What does that do to a community? Good or bad, it affects you one way or the other. So this will be with two cameras, two cameras. Can we stand right there? Denzel plays this detective who runs an elite squad of undercover narcotics agents in South Central LA. And it's my first day as, as a part of that. Stand up. I think he's trying to teach him to be a good cop. He has a line, he says, you know, I don't get handicapped by bullshit. Oh, okay. Well, stand up. Now. We do what we got to do the way we got to do it so that we can get things done. Judges have handed out over 15,000 man years of incarceration time based on my investigations, OK? My record speaks for itself. How many felons have you collared? It's a great opportunity for him to work with this highly revered, decorated officer. It's a real opportunity for him to succeed. You got the magic eye, Hoyt. You have the magic eye. You up your street IQ, you're going to do some damage out here, I guarantee you. Crime fighter. He wants to be Alonzo when he first meets Alonzo. He wants to make detective, you know? He wants uh, the fame, you know? And um, there's a price to pay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think Jake had a clue of what he was going to get out of this day. I think he thought he was going to get through the day, ride around in the car, hear a lot of verbiage, you know? And it's not what happens. He started off as a good cop, and you know, as a line he says, hey, you gotta, you gotta have a little dirt on you for anybody to trust you out here. I can shoot between them. One cop said it's, it's all about fear and intimidation. They gotta know that you're gonna roll hard on them. Hey, control your suspect. Miss, palms on the glass. Move those hands, I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. You understand me? Put your face right up against the glass, right there. In his world, it's, it's all one big shade of gray and whatever it takes to get the job done is acceptable, is permissible. He's a guy that's probably done some good when he first started and realized that, you know, if you just move this an inch this way, you can actually get a case to stick. And then you start moving it a foot in a yard, and next thing you know, you know, you're on the other side. It's very bold of Denzel to take this role. It is not his usual, clearly heroic role. He always plays somebody in whom the audience has a great deal of empathy. This is a movie that challenges that empathy. What's up, Roger? Yeah. What's going down, brother? It's all good, baby. <laughs> 
This is a role that stretches Denzel Washington in a way that you've never seen him before. Who are you working for? I look for a departure in, in every role I do. This Alonzo is, uh, he's confused. <laughs> he's twisted. Say this was in a shoe box. But I don't look at him as a bad guy, really. He just, uh, he's got problems. Here we go. I think that uh, Denzel Washington is probably the greatest leading man working in films today. I don't think anybody can compete with him as far as what he's capable of doing. He's a really powerful actor, and I think he's at the top of his game right now. I think the guy's tremendous. Background action and action! And the amazing thing about Ethan Hawke is he has a vulnerability and a sense of innocence to him, and yet he's not a bashful actor. He's actually able to hold his own and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Denzel, and we found no other actors that were actually able uh, to do that. All right, I'll go back to the valley. I'll cut parking tickets, you know? It can't be like this. It is this way, man. I'm sorry I exposed you to it, but it is. It's ugly, but it's necessary. There's something so innocent about Ethan. He's such a nice person. He's a great guy, you know? But there's something in his eyes that tells me he's seen something in his life. I think Alonzo played you for a fool, Lester. I needed somebody that had some darkness to start. I think that, that made him more interesting. He's a good kid. He's a fine actor. He's intelligent. He's a good human being. He's a real good man. I like him a lot. Why is he talking to him in the Right. I mean, that's that point. Ethan and Dizel both wanted me to push them, and they pushed me, for sure. I mean, they challenge me every day because they're very smart, very logical. As soon as I start, I'll open it. Yeah. If you don't have the right answer, they'll challenge you. You know, it's not about rushing to get the shot. It's about getting it right for them. And, uh, you know, that's what works for me, too. Come over. I mean, these, these two guys, man, are, you know, they're pros, period. I couldn't think of anybody else I want to be making this movie with. What up, killer? I can't call it. What's up with you? But I talk to the three wise men, everything is lovely. Shit, if you say we can get away with it, I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? I play a character named Paul, who's part of Alonzo's bad guy crew. MP5, heavy artillery, baby. They go in and do all the dirty work. Set and action! Go, 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 go! He's um, a laid back kind of guy, um, but not to be played with at all. Yeah, and you just jump right in. I wanted each character to be memorable. Drop us in your hands before zero. I didn't want it just to be another day player, somebody, you know. I wanted somebody that you won't forget. What you need, homie? Uh, crack. Uh, 20 bucks? What? Crack? Yeah. What, I look like a sucker to you? No, I was down with it, because I'm trying to get in the movie game as it is, and to work with Ethan and Denzel. And Antoine, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to ask me twice, I'm here. What's up, nephew? Hey, man. That's fascinating. Going there with Snoop. Hey, Snoop. Going there with Dre. I feel like I'm hanging with the Beatles. Well, you got the gun, don't you, boss? That's right, I do. Punk ass, bitch ass, crooked ass cop. Give me a break, okay? The race is fantastic. She brought so much to the table. She got together with wardrobe and everybody, and she came back with these long nails and this wig on. She was just ghetto fabulous, is what we call it. You know, she was <laughs> ghetto fabulous. <laughs> she was great. I can see why she's a wonderful artist, because she gets into it. She's very specific. And I don't know what she knows about acting, but she was asking the right questions. He kind of simplified it for me. He just said, put yourself in that situation, like make yourself that character, and then do what you would do. He taught me a lot just with that one sentence. Changed everything for me. So we're going to uh, shoot Ethan, you over behind Ethan, for him walking and looking over his shoulder. It was interesting watching her, watching Snoop, watching Dr. Dre. It was also good for me just to be around other artists that do other things and act and, and see how that exchange is. I'm more interested in people who have seen some things in life. Life teaches you much more than anybody can ever teach you in an acting class. You know, and these people have seen, if you look at each character, they've been through it.
this movie is, is very much about LA speaking for itself and being itself and being what it is. And, and Antoine is definitely a, a, a good guide. You know you can do two cameras on him, just on him here. First thing he brought to this table is an understanding of what inner city Los Angeles is like. We've been able to sit down with members of Bloods and members of the Crips and film in, in, in Imperial Courts and film in, in the jungle, and we would not have been able to do the things we do if it wasn't for Antoine and the connections he has, aside from being a wonderful director and a, and a great, great shooter. Jake, go. That was nice. The guy's super bright, he has a ton of energy, and he loves his story. From a director, that's all that, that's all that I need. Your cue is on Ethan. He's bringing an edge to it that I think it needs. It needed to be something unusual, something different, and it's, and it's dangerous, and that's good. Roll sound. But the look of the film is very distinct. It, it looks like L.A. It feels like L.A. It, it, it's it's going to smell like L.A. I mean, it, it's just so dead on in every every respect. I wouldn't want to make the movie in any other place but the real places. It's just the texture and the feel and the people and the faces that you can't you can't get that anywhere else. I'm a little bit over this way, man. He wanted this film to really be authentic. He wanted to really be you know hardcore. And I said, I think I I can get you guys there, but it's it's gonna be real dirty. So if the crew's willing to get a little dirty to make a dirty movie, we can make it happen. <laughs> There's no other way to tell the story unless you understand the world they're in. I wanted the whole crew to get in the environment, see the people, to see what the movie's about, to feel the texture of the world. Where we've gone, I'm telling you, no cameras have been in Imperial Courts the way we were. And in the jungle, they have a policy of no cameras, totally. Take a beat before you pull the gun out. The gang members are the guys that gave me permission to come into their neighborhoods. They were so supportive. And I wanted them to be in the movie. These guys got real scars, real bullet holes. They deal with these cops every day. One time. What's up, Bone? What's up, Lonzo? All right. What's happening with your time moves? It's all good. It's all good. Didn't want to tell you, man. Appreciate what you did for my nephew. That's some real shit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> you better call me. You hear all these stories about neighborhoods, and you actually go and spend some time there, and you realize it's just people, and it always is. You snap that thing on? Yeah. Nah, it's great. Yeah, you get the real feeling. You meet the real people, you know? I couldn't imagine it any other way. And they saw the work that these guys were putting in. That's an image they had never saw before. So they planted the seed. Man, I can do it. I want to do that. I think Antoine told the story of how he was in Pittsburgh projects, saw a film crew, went up to him, and they started showing him stuff, and that's what was planted the seed in him. That's how he became a director. You loving it, huh? You like that? All right. Any of y'all can be a camera operator one day. Any of y'all. And I wanted to bring something positive to the community. I wanted them to see a film being made, you know, some magic. Like I wanted them to meet Denzel. I wanted them to meet Ethan. I wanted them to see me, you know. Well, I come from the streets. I wanted them to see me doing something positive so that maybe that's a way of helping and inspiring in some way. Position, please, so I can get All right, here we go. Let's go. Ready? Let's lock it up. This will be pictures. Cameras ready. Sound ready. Seconds away, ready. And roll sound. 65 Foxtrot, take one. Oh, tracks. Ready? And action. With the scandals and whatnot, it is open season on misconduct. I think it's a morality tale. I think it's a tale of what one man does when faced with a choice. If you're in my unit, you got to be in it all the way or not at all. You understand me? Let's say I, I don't play no. along. Is there just one morality, or are there many moralities? You gonna shoot me, boys? You did what you had to do. What is the right thing to do? Do the ends justify the means? Open your eyes. Can't you see? The world is a better place without him. That's the hardest thing, is how do you do this job and keep your integrity? What the hell were you doing back there? You got to decide whether you're a wolf or a sheep. And the problem is, once you start bending the rules to suit your will, where do you stop? You think I'm crazy, right? We communicate and talk to me. Say it. Say it. As Alonzo says, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. You get the picture? Yeah, I got the picture. Maybe films like this will make people think about how far some people are taking their power. I'm the police! King Kong ain't got nothing on me!